before we begin this video, please subscribe right now and click the notification bell to get news on Asante Tech Kotoko. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Daily Porcupine, the ultimate Kotoko fan channel. If you're new here, you know what to do, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Now, Asante Tech Kotoko released their squad for the second round of the Ghana Premier League and this, this squad includes or included the new signing. So, I won't waste much time, I'll just go through the squad and I'll list them to you. Then for the goalkeepers, we have Felix Annan, Kwame Bar, Razak Abalora. We know that Danlad Ibrahim has joined King Faisal on loan till the end of the season. For those of you who don't know, Danlad Ibrahim has joined King Faisal on loan till the end of the season. Then as for defenders, we have Andrews Apau. Then we have Christopher Neite, Sami Frimpong, Ibrahim Aymoro, Patrick Asma, Abdul Ghaniu, Habib Mohamed, Mubarak Yusuf, Wahab Adams. Then midfielders, we have... Fabio Gama, Emmanuel Sakodie, Kwame Adon Frimpong, Emmanuel Keke, Latif Anabila, Emmanuel Jimfi, Godfrey Desiama, Augustine Okra, Murasiri Salifu, Richard Senano, Martin Entry. Now, Richard Senano came back with Martin Entry into the squad. Richard Senano obviously recovered from injury and is now in the squad. And reports are stating that Kotoko are considering offering him. Um, a new contract as they want to keep him at the club. Martin Entry impressed and the trainings and they felt that he's good enough to be brought back into the fold. Then as for Emmanuel Keke, he's still injured. Emmanuel Keke is still injured and his injury is a very very serious one but Asante Kotoko are being optimistic that he will play again this season. That is why he's being added into the squad here. Then as for forwards, we have Nabi Keita, Ibrahim Osman, Evans Adomako, Solomon Safu Taylor, Michael Vinicius and Andy Kumi Francis. If you are not aware of that name, Kotoko signed another striker called Andy Kumi Francis, and he's going to be um, the third. He he's the third signing or the third striker as Ante Kotoko signed, and they just ended a uh, transfer window. Asman Ibrahim will be back very very soon, according to what I'm hearing. Asman Ibrahim will be back in training very soon, and he will feature very well in the second round of the competition. Only if he stays fit i hope i'm hoping he stays fit because he's one of the best strikers we have right now kotoko have how many strikers one two three four five kotoko right now we have five strikers i don't know if evans adomako can can be used as a striker i don't know where he plays i don't know i just know he's a winger but i don't know if he can play as a striker but right now kotoko have five strikers compared to the two they had before uh Kwame Poko left so um, it's a very very um improving development because the club is now um, strong or we now have more players in the attacking position and I feel that since we don't have a lot of wingers uh, we we'll, we'll, we'll rarely play with wingers because I'm, see, I'm seeing Kotoko playing with midfielders like in a 4-4-2 formation and the midfielders will be playing as a right midfielder and a left midfielder helping the left back and the right back when there's time for when it's time to defend and also moving forward when it's time to attack so i, I i'm sure that um the the squad will blend very well i'm hope i'm hopeful that everything will work out in the second round of the competition and will eventually win the ghana premier League this season i'd like to know your thoughts on the squad so far put that in the comment section if you have anything to say i think that's all for today if you haven't subscribed do that right now and hit the notification bell so next time guys goodbye